I'm Jenny Holterman, also known as Almond Girl Jenny. I am a fourth generation California family farmer. I am here standing in our almond orchard in the Central Valley of California. And if you have been on social media this week, you might have seen a certain Hollywood star um, attacking our um, beautiful almonds here. and has a load of false information that he was spewing um, to his audience about almonds and water usage. And I would love um, to invite anybody that would love to know about water usage in almonds to ask, ask a farmer about that information. Almonds, as you can see, are grown here in the Central Valley of California because we have a unique Mediterranean climate in California. Only five other places in the world have the same Mediterranean climate that can grow these specialty crops that we grow here in California. Almonds can't be grown anywhere else in the United States. And if you're looking to move California almond production out of California, you would eliminate all almond production in the United States of America. They're grown here because of our unique climate and soil type that makes them flourish and makes us the most effective and efficient place in the world to grow almonds. Those five other places in the world that have that same climate just can't grow them as well as we do here in California. And if you're looking at our almond water usage, it's important to compare what really is one gallon of, of water. One gallon of water is very com comparable to all other fruit and nut trees. They pretty much all require the same amount of water. But when you're talking about almonds and taking one gallon of water to grow one almond, you're actually not just growing that one almond. While some may think that all we're doing here on these trees is growing the almonds that you love to eat and snack and cook with, but we're also growing a shell and a hull. These almonds here that you see, they have a green fuzzy outer layer hull. And that hull is the first protective layer for the almonds. The hull is also taken to feedlots and dairies and it's used for, to feed them. It's used for animal feed. And inside that hull is a shell. That shell, is also used in livestock bedding. Landscapers use it in your landscaping. And it's also used as energy fuel in burning at plants to create energy back for our power grid. And of course, the inside almond that you love to eat. But what else are we growing right here is a tree. That tree is gonna last for 20 to 25 years. If we feed it with effective irrigation, it can last that long. So we're not just watering a one year crop, we're watering a tree and when that tree is also obviously planted here in our orchards it's used to help sequester carbon that's very important when we're talking about climate change and i know those hollywood actors love to talk about climate change but we're, when this tree span lifespan is also done after 20 to 25 years we chip and grind up our trees and incorporate them back into the soil nothing is lost nothing leaves our farm all those nutrients we fed it for its lifespan, stay here on our farm. Now, I think that's a really important if you're talking about how much drops you're gonna get per crop. All of that water stays here. And it's not just talking about the 2% GDP we hear a lot. That only talks about the farming aspect of agriculture. It doesn't incorporate the processors that we ship our almonds to just right down the road <laughs> to go get processed, sorted, and sized. And it doesn't incorporate the packaging companies who bag the almonds, box the almonds. Think of all those labor force in those processing and packaging plants that are um, sorting and working with those almonds as well. It also doesn't include the transportation, the truckers, the ships, all of that to move our almonds across the world. That 2% GDP, it just doesn't include any of those numbers that are all factors in agriculture. And lastly, I'd like you all to just ask farmers. Anytime you have questions about agriculture, farmers are here and we would love to share our message with you and share our farms so that you can see just why agriculture is here in California. 
If you have further questions, shoot them over and comment in, these, in this video. I'd love to answer your questions about almonds and water usage.